What's up you guys, it's RJ. We are back with some more G Friend. So today we are checking out Sunny Summer Fever Memoria, right? And Fallen Light. Um, so yeah, I think these are the last of the music videos. I think there's one left with Flower. I think that's the only one. And then I think I saw another recommendation for a song called Labyrinth. So um, I think I'm gonna, I have plans for that song because I, we'll get to it. Anyways, um, but we're gonna check out these ones for now. Um, so yeah, let's go. I'm so sad because at this point, I feel like I should know people's names, at least by face, you know? But I, I, I'm just still the only one I can like pinpoint. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's okay, no pressure, it'll come with time. Anyways, all right, we're starting with Sunny Summer. All days are nights to see till I see thee. And nights bright, I can't see, I'm sorry. And nights bright days when dreams do show thee me. I read that like I was like a fifth grader, let's go. Their fashions are always on point. Oh, beautiful vocals. <laughs> I love this song though. It's like a perfect summer song. In some ways, this makes me think of Red Flavor. <laughs> I think it's the music video, not the song. Certain parts of it. The girl next to Amji, I know her name. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I just love that that's a part of the choreography. I don't know why I think it's so fun. Well, first of all, I really like that song. Like I said, that is like one of those songs I feel like, at least for me, you know when you can hear like, I don't know, the first like 10 seconds of a song, you know you like it. I don't know, this, there was something about this song that pretty much kind of grabbed me right away. Um, the choreo also helped. And then just the feeling of the song was so happy, fresh, felt like summer. 
I need that right now because it's too cold up in here. And the weather where I live is like flip flopping all over the place. I just, I'm ready for this like 80 degree weather, 80, 90 degree weather. That's where I thrive. <laughs> so I want to go back because I don't know if I'm correct. Like I said, I'm still trying to learn the names of the members, but obviously this is MG on the far right. The person next to her, I think that's Yerin, right? Maybe her, it's her nose that I'm associating with her. I don't know. But then the one um, that is like, and under the blue light here, second to the left, I think that's um, so on. I might be wrong. <laughs> I really don't know. Also, they mentioned Yuju's name in here. I don't know what that was about, but but this is, uh, yeah, anyways, because Yuju's not one of these two. This is why I was like, wait, I think I know who the two of them are. Obviously, MG, and I think this one on the left here is Yonin. You guys can let me know how wrong I am in the comments if I am. But let's go on. All right, next up we have Fever. Let's go. God, I really hope this microphone isn't picking up my stomach growling. <laughs> yeah, Woo, her outfit, wow. Oh, we're grown. Or growing. I love the shots. Piano. This is so pretty. Wow, this is very interesting. <clears throat> what is going on with my voice? I like that. Oh, that part right there, though. I just pressed play. Oh, 
How cool looking. You know, it's so interesting watching, um, snap. <laughs> uh, obviously they're a little older in this video. So it's cool hearing, um, I think I may have said this in probably my first video that I did for them, but it's cool hearing the evolution of their music while it still sounds like a song that would come from this group. Um, they've kind of simplified ish in a way um the the production it doesn't uh because you you know like for a song like maybe like rough or Migusis 2 um the amount of things that are going on in the song while it doesn't feel clunky or anything like that um you definitely notice the arrangement of the song is very intense um in a very good way but these later songs some of them at least um definitely don't have as much going on i feel like as the the group has gotten older and matured and um i guess just evolved and grown it's just really cool to listen to that's why i was like oh this is so interesting because i just started to notice that this is another really good song um i love the descending chords that they did um i think it happened maybe twice in the chorus probably um and the little beat switch ish that they did for the second chorus i think it was um yeah some really really nice moments in the song i liked it okay so these next two i believe are our japanese tracks this is memoria there's no captions by the way let's go memoria, memoria. Memoria. Oh my god, their outfits! Oh. Wow! Her eyes! These efforts are so pretty. It's the ad libs in the back. I had a feeling a guitar was going to show up in here.
beautiful ending. Is it a coincidence that she is painting with the same colors that the girls are wearing? Those like plaid uh, outfits, these ones here? I was trying to piece together what the heck was going on in this video. It felt very dreamlike and I wasn't too sure what was going on. They all woke up in like different places and they met at the end. The song is called Memoria. So I'm assuming there's something connected there. Um, I didn't understand what was up with her eye and then she like suddenly disappeared when she looked in the mirror. This was also a really cool shot. I think there was another shot of her standing and there was like her shadow head wings. Um, yeah, there was a lot of interesting imagery going on here. Felt very like celestial and I don't know, also dreamlike, which I think I already said. Um, anyway, a catchy song. I, I really enjoyed it. Really pretty melodies. Uh, I love the piano, obviously. And I like the guitar that came in in the um, bridge. Like I said, I felt like a, I felt like it was coming. I don't know why. And I think maybe because it's a, well, I feel like sometimes that's what ends up happening in Japanese releases. Uh, but G-Friend also incorporates guitars anyways, so I guess it was to be expected. But there's something about their music videos that seem, that feel, I don't know, they're, they're so like nice to look at. It feels like a, a, a storybook or something. I don't know. It just feels like you're in like another, uh, maybe dimension. Dimension's not it. We'll say dimension, alternate reality. Like something that doesn't feel real, but feels real at the same time. I, I can't make sense of it, but it, it feels like, I don't know, I'm watching it happen in real time. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just move on. Everything I say always makes sense in my head, but when it comes out, it just sounds like gibberish. <laughs> All right, Falling Light is our last song here. Uh, let's go. the choreography look at their outfits wow Something so elegant about this. Oh. They're dancing in heels. They've been doing that. so pretty.
strings. That was so pretty. The way that ended was so pretty. This music video is a perfect example of the point I was trying to make, but really couldn't get it out properly a moment ago. Like, just the imagery is, just feels so like, dreamlike. That's the only thing I can think of. I just think they do such a great job of, I, the set dressing, the art direction, the creative direction of their music videos is always just so well done. Um, it always just has such a an otherworldly feeling to it that I find so fun to look at. It's just such a unique way of telling stories, you know? Like, I think versus the traditional way, um, I just think they do such a great job. Whoever is doing their music videos, whoever's done their music videos, they've done a very good job of just like imagery. The imagery is just so great. Why do you need three lamps? Sorry, five lamps. Sorry, six lamps, the one that's knocked over here. Like, but they all have meaning for this. The song is called Falling Light. You know what I mean? And even these little fluorescent thingamabobs or whatever, I don't know, they're 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 lit up too. Like, I don't know, there's just something, even the tone, even the, the color of the walls, it's all just very uh it, it just looks great, very aesthetically pleasing. Um yeah, I think that is one of the most fun things about looking at their music videos when they're not shot in like actual like earth. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like when it's not like real world like shots and stuff like that, because um, what was the second one we watched? Fever was very similar to that. Uh, the music video wasn't filmed in like it was obviously on a set, but the the images that they were showing were just really pretty. Anyway, <laughs> um, another good song, you guys. G Friend just continues to surprise me uh, with the uh, the vibes they put out um, or have put out rather. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm excited for the next one, you guys, as always. So thanks so much for hanging out with me here and I'll see you guys then later.